welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome thank you so much for joining me my name is Trish I am an ambulatory wheelchair user and I have this channel to share what my day-to-day -day life is like right now we are in Indiana and we are headed to holiday world yesterday we explored Santa Claus Indiana and that video should already be up I will link it in the comments and we got a little peek at Holiday World, and it looks like such a wonderful park. It's been voted the, one of the cleanest parks in America based on the sign they have. And it looks great. They have free parking. They also offer free soda throughout the day. And I think I saw they have free sunscreen as well. So it really does seem like a great place to visit as a family. I will let you know how the accessibility is as we go along our day. It is raining right now. I hope it stops, but we're just going to move through and go with it. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's go check out Holiday World together. I can see the roller coasters. We're almost to Holiday World. It's still raining a little. And presents We got inside. It's not that busy, and this park is so cute. They did let us in a little early, so we are just chilling out in this main area. This fountain is beautiful. I do not know if there is a right or a wrong way to do this, but we are starting in the 4th of July. I love the theming here. It is just absolutely adorable. My husband has Sarah on the cars and it looks like he was brave enough to let her drive. I don't think it's going well. are a lot of great things about this park but one of the coolest is these oasis are just like self-service soda stations and you just go get what you want it's complimentary and it's awesome it's not hot today but it would be great on a hot day
I'm going to get on the train. On your left is Peter, Peter, Pumpkin Eater, how do I have to keep her? Turn her on the puppet show and make up your gray one. To your right is a little puppet now, big fire that front here away. I'm still sure revolving back on the show, pretty amazed on the road. There wasn't a woman who lived in a shoe, she had so many children she knew what to do. She gave some rock, honey, bread, and some eggplants down like the bed. They have a giant playground here and I am loving it. It's so nice. My daughter is playing, having a great time. I wish more amusement parks had playgrounds. This may be the cutest roller coaster I have ever seen. Oh, here it comes.
time for some lunch. Sarah's getting her face painted. It looks really good. I don't think I've ever seen a ride like this before. It is super cute.
My very brave child is on this ride right now. I used to love these as a kid, but I can't really stand up to ride it. So she was tall enough and I hope she's having fun. Justin and Sarah are on these turkeys. It's like a uh, tilt a whirl with turkeys. It's adorable. Everything here is adorable. Sarah got a surprise box, which I thought was a really neat thing to have in an amusement park souvenir shop. I've never seen that. This was $10. Let's see what she got. It's supposed to be for girls. They had them for girls, boys, and young at heart, which I assume is adults. Holiday World was such a cool park. So I feel like I want to get the accessibility out of the way then give the rest of the review. They had accessibility. Unfortunately, no one knew how to use the accessibility features. They tried, <laughs> but a lot of the rides, if you wanted to use like the accessible car or even just the seat that you can transfer easily, you had to wait for some sort of like accessibility manager to come do it. And I have been to a lot of amusement parks. I've never seen that before. I have never seen them ask people, hey, just wait five to 10 minutes for someone to come unlock the seat so you can transfer. And to me, that is really inefficient. And it also just kind of makes you feel unwelcome as a disabled person, especially when um, the guy on the train told me normally they only do this for children. Don't say that. That's not cool. Don't, just don't. I don't even have words to describe how rude that was. Um, let's treat disabled adults as adults. Um, and let's assume that they're going to want to do things with their kids because I wanted to ride the train with my daughter. They had plenty of single room bathrooms, which is great because a lot of amusement parks are so few that you can't get in them. So they had tons of them. That was great. The accessibility pass where you got it was right up front and the lady was super nice. The park itself is really unique. There's a lot of unique rides. It's fun. Good Gravy was awesome. That's their brand new coaster and totally worth going there just to ride it. It was unique. It was fun. I loved it. I can only give the accessibility like a 5 out of 10 because you had to wait to get a manager or whatever to unlock the seats and that's just weird. Um, also, I would not suggest going in a manual chair because it's really hilly. So if you don't have like power of assist or anything, I would suggest maybe renting something unless somebody in your party really wants to get a lot of exercise because it was hilly. It was cold today. We didn't explore the water park, but there were handicap accessible water coasters, which I was actually very excited to ride. It was just too cold for that. Now, Overall, the park would get like a 10 out of 10. It was great to visit. I just wish those few little accessibility problems could be corrected. We had a great day overall at Holiday World and I'm glad I got to take you along with me. That is all I have for you today, but I do this quite often, so I'll see you soon.